Hey y'all, it's Alicia. Welcome back to my channel and happy Wednesday to you. Happy Wednesday. I am on a little later than usual. I'm sure you're assuming it's because I was up late last night crafting and I wish that was the reason. Unfortunately, last night while I was cleaning up the crafty mess around 3.30 in the morning, I noticed that my dog was not doing great. She just was acting off the whole night. So this morning, early morning, I stayed up with her. Of course I did. And this morning I noticed that she was bleeding again. So we took her back to the vet and we only got back about an hour ago. Uh, it was not a good visit. She had an emergency ultrasound. We decided to, to finally bite the bullet, even though the vet's like, is it really gonna help you to know? And I'm like, yeah, it's gonna help me to know. Cause they keep giving her medicine and I don't know if this medicine is even useful. So I was like, yeah, I wanna know. And folks, we got very bad news. So I'm going to try not to cry. I came home actually about an hour ago and I thought I would watch your videos and I'd be able to pull myself together. Um, but then I saw Cruz's video and it made me cry all over again. So forgive me if I don't do very well um, in this video. But um, my dog has something wrong with her liver. They don't, they can't tell me for sure it's cancer. All they can tell me is that the liver is badly affected and that... Um, the texture is all wrong and it's either Cushing's or cancer so she had an emergency biopsy today and um, she's sleeping right now if you hear her snoring it's because I brought her home um, I know Jelly Bean and Dean are gonna understand this a anyone with a pet or a fur baby in their family is gonna understand this uh, we knew she wasn't well I kept telling the doctor that I knew it was something more chronic and he kept saying, yeah, what are you going to do about it? She's 14 and a half. Wrap your head around that. Um, but today it really became super serious. She handled everything like a trooper. She got onto the ultrasound machine. They normally have to sedate dogs. She didn't need sedation. She just followed instructions. This is all that service dog training, right? She just listened. She kept hoping for a payoff, a treat, but they, she wasn't allowed to eat. Um, so she was very compliant and they only had to mildly sedate her for the biopsy. It was shocking. Within 10 minutes, she was back to normal. It's, that's her stretching. It's hard to imagine that um, she's so sick that she's not going to be here for much longer. It's very hard for me. This has been a, a difficult end to an amazing trip, both with the stall travel plans and the dog, um, who is not just my dog, but my baby. So I am suffering, that's for sure. So forgive me if I am on and off the next two days or three days or four days or five days, I don't know. Depends what happens with this biopsy. Depends what happens with her health. Depends what happens overall. What I'm going to do in preparation is I'm going to um, pull myself together and at some point tonight uh, re-record or pre-record the spooktacular Halloween videos so that I can send them to Crafty Michelle and I'll do two because I have two projects ready to go. I have more than that ready to go, but I'll do two and get those off to Michelle so she has them and I'll make sure that they're set to upload properly in case we have a constant emergency between now and the weekend and that way I don't let anybody down while dealing with this. If I'm not on a lot, if I don't comment a lot, if I don't respond to your comments, it's not that I don't care. It's not that I'm not grateful. I'm just devastated. Ridiculous, right? They've been telling me for weeks, for weeks that they thought this was a real possibility. And it's not like my brain didn't process what the vet said. It's just today we got a confirmation that there's something very wrong and unfortunately it's with her liver. Which as we all know is a major organ we could have done a full-on biopsy today, um, as opposed to the one we did, but it would have rendered her incapacitated for months, potentially, and I can't do that to her. So this biopsy that we did is a mini biopsy, and it's a lot less reliable, and he told me that it's only 50% accurate. So if it comes back negative, it's still likely positive, um, and that I just need to wrap my head around the fact that her liver is failing. And... Uh, and that's just the way it is. So forgive me, folks, if I'm not myself over the next three or four days. I don't know what that's going to bring. They haven't told us if, if they're 100% right how long that means. They haven't told us anything yet. So I'm in limbo and I'm suffering and she's suffering, which I don't want. So um, 
I'm going to do the best I can to come on. I'm going to watch as many videos as I can. I'm going to comment when I can. But this is going to affect my autoimmune too because being emotionally upset means that physically I get sick. So forgive me if I'm just not myself and I'm off and on for the next few days. I saw on my cell phone just now that Sabrina called. I saw there were texts from Alice. There's a whole bunch of people I have to respond to. Just give me some time today, folks, okay? Just give me some time. And I promise you, I'm not ignoring you. I'm not, not interested in speaking to you. It's just, I'm suffering. All right, so on happier news, I am... It's three o'clock. There's our man. At least there's something constant, right? Um, on happier news, I am going to try to make a video today. I can't promise, but I'm going to try because I'm packaging up the swap. And I realize that some people are new to swapping and probably would benefit uh, for a video on how to package up a swap. For instance, um, I don't mind sharing this because it's not part of the swap per se, but it's really nice to personalize a swap. So I made all of the participants, now I am not a charm maker. I made this summer camp style. I'll tell you, my parents weren't sure if the summer camp paid off. Well, I'll tell you, any dangly I know how to make is from summer camp. So I basically bought this big tassel like this from the dollar store here for each participant. Then I created a dangle dangle that I put their name on. This one says, Alicia, oh boy, oh boy, on oh my camera even, let's see, Alicia. And, um, it just dangles like that and this is personalizing each one so each person's oops each person has their own dangle dangle on their swap um, I'll show you like oh, there's Kayla's so where's Orlando's Orlando's is long I had to really measure that out well where did it go it's somewhere around here um, cruises because she likes taupe so all of these are personalized and that's something you want to do when you're doing a swap folks you want, oh, there's Orlando's. Hold on. And there's Orlando's. So you see? So, like, you want to make sure that, like, it that the names are on there in a certain way. I chose to make a dangle dangle that goes on the exterior of all the swap packages. But, you know, you want to make sure that it's personalized, that you put in a little note. I made little note cards for everybody. I packaged it up the same way or almost exactly the same way because I'm almost out of paper and items so I had to make do in some cases. Ironically I used some of what Orlando sent to do the packaging which is great so she's getting back some of her own her own die cuts. Um, but then I put it all together and I wrap it the same way so each bundle looks the same. So if I can what I'm going to try to do later today before I put everything into the envelopes is do a swap video and if it does, some of the packaging would show you what I made, and I don't want the reveal to happen before October 1st. So I'll record it if I can today, and then I'll upload it October 2nd. And that way you'll learn how to put together a swap. Because I know some of you are new to swapping and group swaps. Listen, Liz Russell just joined Tony Craft Purge's embellishment box swap for Halloween, and she said that's her first group swap ever. So there's tons of experts that are new to group swaps, not just us folks. So I thought maybe that video would be helpful. So if I can pull together enough energy, I will do that later today. No promises, just because emotionally I am a wreck and I'm exhausted. I didn't sleep last night and I'm exhausted from being sad. So I will try my best. I'm going to take a little rest after I clean up because it's such a mess that I can't even take a rest. And then um, I will come back on, watch your videos, call Sabrina back and return everybody's messages. Please be patient with me this week. This is rough. All right. Thanks so much, my heart, again, to everyone who's in the path of the hurricane and the tropical storm, and know that I'm thinking about you. All right, folks, take real good care, and Cruz, thank you. I needed a good smile and laugh and everything else when I got home, and your video was just that. All right, see you later, folks.